Growing up in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, it wasn't that different from a lot of neighborhoods, inner city neighborhoods. Um, the difference between on my block that I grew up on is that I had a mother and father that worked hard every day. I had an older brother, three years older, and he was an example uh, of how to move and how to conduct yourself and how to really survive in that neighborhood because the lessons that my father and my mother gave me can only go so far because um, you do so many hours away from them. And when you, when you leave that door and you go down those steps, you gotta jump off the porch. And um, he was an example in the sense that he was a gang member. He, he didn't run with the Hoovers, uh, a, crib, a crib set in our neighborhood. And, and the alley across was blood. And, and just living in that every day and just always being on point. He did sell drugs. He did, you know, go to jail my rookie year. Uh, in the NFL. So he was just one of those examples of the path that we could go. Same father, same mother. We shared a room for 14 years until I was 14 years old. So his bed is here, my bed is here. Much like a dorm room, same lessons. He just chose to go one path and I chose to go another path. Okay, to the younger generation, I just want to encourage these kids and, and, and encourage them just to hold on to their dreams. And if you have a dream and you're really passionate about it, just stay focused. Focus on your, your goals in life and uh, try not to get sidetracked. Life itself is just a, you know, a roller coaster, but if you have your own agenda, mindset, approach to what you want in life, and you go out and seize it, it makes everything much easier. Um, you know, I wasn't the, the, per the most perfect kid, but I did have a dream, and, and life is where I wanted to be the next Deion Sanders, and being the next Deion Sanders, being a, a, a two-sport guy, you know, unfortunately that didn't pan out, but, you know, just keeping myself active in sports and, and just letting it run this course versus, you know, a what if or uh, if I should have or if I could have, you know, did this or I did that, maybe this would have happened. So I just left all the questions and all the doubts out of there and just ran my races, as, you know, as hard as I can, as far as just staying focused, staying locked in, you know, there's going to be distractions, it's life. So, you know, within life it comes distraction, it comes adversity, but you just want to continue to keep focused and stay, stay the course and you never know what happened. You may, you may go to college and you may not even become a professional athlete, but you meet so many, you, you, you build these relationships with, with people and you never know where it may take you.